Hello everybody and welcome back to A Jedi's Tale, a Let's Play series in RimWorld. I'm Tomatronic and thanks for joining me again and let's see what has been happening. The young Force Sensitives growing slightly stronger in their powers with a colony that they're pretty proud of so far. They didn't start off with much and they're all very young and inexperienced in terms of the world beyond the safety of the walls they grew up in. But so far, Boss is super happy with the way things are going. He's very proud of his team and his friends. And everybody seems to be pulling their weight. And moods are quite high except for Doc, who has a lot of complaints. Very hungry for some reason, although there is food available, so I'm not sure about why that is. Uh, still unhappy about seeing dead bodies lying around, which is understandable, but we were attacked and we had to fight to defend ourselves, so I'm hoping she can get over that quickly. Uh, and a few other things that are bothering her, keeping her mood below the rest of the group. Now, Kiko has decided to start to break out here. I am going to find the closest person who's not already doing something, which would probably be Cook, uh, cook is cooking. I'm gonna draft fingers here, make him stand outside the door, just to greet Kiko when she eventually breaks through that door. In fact, before that even happens, I'm gonna go through and try and knock her out so I don't have to shoot her and I don't have to rebuild that door. Fingers getting injured here, but ultimately we'll win the fight, I think. I hope, at least. There we go. Um, downed, in pain, but not dead, luckily. So, we can now capture Kiko again. Heal her back up and again try and recruit her. It's proving difficult, this, this recruitment stuff. Um, I've had more luck with it when I've played before, but perhaps we just stumbled across a particularly difficult group of people to convince. And perhaps the only way to survive as our food supplies dip below my minimum comfort level, maybe we're going to have to start letting go of some of these prisoners because they do consume food and medicine and now another one has decided to go berserk so I will do the same thing again with Lepe okay well done fingers let's capture him put him in the bed there and fingers can go and heal yourself to start with and then go back to doing whatever you're doing. Now, fire caused by lightning. It's already in our home area so they should run over straight away to put that out. But there are others starting up outside that I need to be mindful of. It's not a flash storm I don't think, it's more of a thunderstorm which means it could be anywhere. And now we have a solar flare to worry about. A solar flare has begun. The intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices, but it should pass in a day. So this is the only thing that can take out our storage area for food, which is still at 19 degrees because I haven't bothered to lower these, which was stupid. Put that down to eight to try and get it down quickly. As with that one. So they're all at minus eight. And although they're not in, they're not able to be used now because of the solar flare. Hopefully, uh, I don't know why I forgot about those. I must have been distracted with something else. Let's just check on those fires again. Make sure they're all out. Another little one there. Uh, as I've said before, it's really important to keep these fires under control because later on in the game I'm going to need a lot more wood. Uh, I have to apologise, I lost a bit of audio. For some reason my computer decided to stop recording through the Audacity application that I'm using 
so not sure how much I lost until I get back and edit. Uh, I apologize, there's going to be probably a, a space there. But since then, Ape has broken out and is trying to escape. Now Fingers is going to attack Ape, try and knock him out. Wow, one punch. Awesome. And then capture him again. You know what boss is doing there? Cowering. No need to cower, boss. I mean, really. You're supposed to be the leader here. So I could put fingers back doing what sh what he knows best, which is sleeping right now, apparently. I wish you could differentiate between animal and human corpses. Ah, you can. Perfect. Never seen that before. I do not want human-like corpses in there. And I don't really want mechanoid corpses in there either. Not that I have any yet, but at least I probably will at some point. So I only want animal corpses in here because this is our food storage. So hopefully they're going to take this dragonfly out pretty soon. Uh, we've got our power back online after the solar flare. So now... The room temperature here is minus seven degrees, which is fantastic. Everything's frozen, everything's preserved. Wonderful. I can start hunting a bit more now. Um, and hopefully they're gonna start putting in all this, all this plant matter before it rots completely. I don't know why Cook is on guard there. I must have done that and forgotten about it. So I'm gonna get him to start hauling some of these smoke leaves and rice back to the storage unit. Boss is sleeping off some injuries. Uh, what's fingers up to? Yeah, bit of first aid there. Really need Doc to be researching. What is Doc up to? Tending to boss, okay, fair enough. Medical over research, I understand that. I need to connect this smelter with some power conduit. For some reason it hasn't been done yet. And then I can add some a bill to it to smelt metal from slag. I'm just going to do that forever. So that when anybody has free time to do some crafting they can start producing some more metal for us, normally in the form of steel. Um, I haven't seen much mining going on recently, probably because Tank and Fixit have been too busy doing other things. Um, but the only real place they can mine right now is here, because they can't actually access this part yet, because I haven't built any doors. So... Make sure they can mine that there, yes. Um, don't really want to mine less than more than two spaces of wall here. It's a good bit of defense from this side. It's actually served us well on a few occasions so far. But I can start chipping away a bit more of this. And this was quite useful for defense, but I'll get rid of this little block here. Really want to get all of this harvested as soon as possible. I'm going to make Cook keep hauling this um, without taking any breaks and I might get Tank to start prioritising hauling the rice. It's important that we get it all inside uh, before it starts to spoil. For some reason I have no power and it's because these bloody generators are off. So I will get to, uh, Cook to refuel those ASAP because the temperature is now up in here and that's not good. I need to keep my eye on that. And as soon as he's refueled that one, I'm going to get him to do the other one as well. Our wind generator has actually been built, which I didn't notice. Um, I just need to cut down all the trees in the local vicinity. And I need to connect it up to the power source. Now what I would like here is the batteries research, but 
but I don't have it, so um, it's here, look, 800, so I don't have it, so the best I can do now to utilize the wind generator is just to run it straight to the main grid, and then later on when I get batteries I can rearrange this and have it all the power flowing into a battery bank somewhere, and then from the batteries to where it's needed around the base. I don't know why these power conduits are not connecting. Definitely built them in those corners. Uh, for some reason, it's not working as I intended. So our prisoners, uh, half of them are healing still, and half of them are, or well, over half of them are up and about. I'm still concerned that they're more of a hindrance than a help in the long run because there's so many of them. I'm dipping well below my comfortable threshold of food and I need to get cook cooking and doing nothing else, which he should be doing anyway. Um, I'm just not convinced it's enough at this stage. And stupid me forgot to put more uh, production on there. So it's probably why he hasn't been cooking. In the, instead, he's hunting, which is fine. He's making himself useful, at least, while my stupidity uh, fades. Hopefully, he will start to go and cook again. What's Fix It been doing? Hauling steel, fine. But if you can haul that instead, that would be great. Cook also, having killed that, is going to haul that. Our corn is almost ready, our strawberries are ready, Cook has got, has experienced an inspiration of work and he'll work faster for the next eight days, wow, fantastic. Well Cook, all I can say is thank you, you worked pretty hard anyway, I wasn't complaining. What's Fix It doing? Hauling chunks, well, I don't know why Fix It is hauling instead of growing. Maybe cut plants. Let's have a look here. Okay, but does that mean harvesting crops as well? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna force uh, Fix It to carry on hauling this rice at least. And I really want Cook to be cooking. Yes, great, Cook is cooking. Fingers, I'm sorry but playing games right now is really not a priority and I want you to start harvesting those strawberries and get them stored away. Boss, um, let's see, who can we get to, what's Fix It doing now, hauling again, that's not really what I want you to do. Why have I got cotton and hops growing here, is that because they're already, uh, okay, interesting. Well, it's set to cotton now, so maybe after they harvest this hops, we'll be able to start making some beer. Or maybe I'll make another grow zone entirely for hops, so we can get some beer made. Boss is relaxing. Let's fix it up to carrying some rice. Good. Fingers is harvesting that, which is fantastic. Cook is now meditating. Don't really want you to be doing that, dude. I want you to be cooking, really. I thought you had an inspired work frenzy and you're sitting there meditating. That doesn't really match, does it? Cook. Okay, so midnight drawing close. Fix it and Doc are already sleeping. Um, Doc's been sleeping a lot the last few days. But it's fair enough, she deserves a good rest. She's been fantastic in taking care of our prisoners, keeping them alive with the chance for the chance of being recruited at some point. Which is really what we want. Tank, please move that dead body. Every time anybody goes into the food storage, they see a rotting corpse on the floor. It's not great. Get him out of there. That's gonna go a long way to cheering some people up. Cook. Still cooking, great. 
It's almost midnight and you're still going. I presume that's to do with your work frenzy. Um, and although we've only produced two meals, it's starting to look bad in terms of meals. I'm going to have to get somebody else cooking, I think, very soon. And if I take a look at people's cooking skills, boss is pretty good. And that is it. Doc, possibly. But I want Doc to carry on with research. So, boss is also going to become a chef. I'm going to build an electric stove now, now that I have power. And I need to connect that up to some power conduit there. And then once that's built, I'm going to get boss making simple meals, which are faster and require, which are faster and require less um, resources. And hopefully I can start to replenish the ever diminishing supply of food that we have. That is our next main priority, I think. I really wish this gun uh, research would speed up because I don't think our next raid is going to be as easy. The fact that they all had bows I think was a spot of good luck. They could have easily had automatic weapons and they could have easily have been alien invaders which are much more difficult to kill because they just run at you, swarm you. Uh, which is when hopefully our lightsabers will come into, come into good use but really hoping that's not going to happen. So. We've got a caravan from the Galactic Empire who's approaching. Uh, they're an Imperial Goods bulk trader. Uh, let's have a look and see what they've got. Nikita is the leader of this group here. Part of me at some point is tempted to attack one of these traders. Because they're, I mean, come on, the Galactic Empire, they're not exactly good people or on a good side of things. But we're also not in the habit of just attacking innocents in commas. Innocents, if you can call them that, for no reason. There would be reason, I guess, that you know we could really use the supplies they have. They drop a lot of stuff. Being bulk goods traders, they're going to have a lot of stuff. Um, but we'd all have to live with the fact that we, that, you know, we're taking people out for our own selfish needs. Okay, so 10 chocolate, definitely going to take that. Well, they like, to have, they like to kill Labradors, clearly, where they come from. They've got a lot of Labrador meat, so already I'm not particularly happy with them as people. And Boss kind of looks over the meat, realising it might possibly be dog meat, with a, a stern look in his eye. But anyway, he continues to browse. He's not one to judge. So let's take a look. They are willing to buy, they're willing to buy rice and berries. And they've got a fair bit of chem fuel to trade. Um, but not much else. They've got some steel as well, but we're okay for steel, I think. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna buy the chocolate, I think. Could get some chem fuel. Maybe. Let's get six. Okay. I keep getting a random message popping up saying there's a problem with auto saving. Um, I've just deleted a bunch of old saves now, which I'm hoping has fixed the problem. Maybe there's a limit to the amount of saves you can have in a folder. I'm not sure, but every time it happens, I freak out and wonder whether the audio or the video has stopped being recorded as it has happened once or twice before. So if you see any strange jumps, it's because I've had to pause the game or something has gone wrong technically. Um, I will apologise, I mean, as you know this is my first let's play, it's the first time I'm doing this kind of thing, so there's probably going to be a few times where I mess up and all I can do is really apologise and try to fix it and not do it again. So everybody going to sleep now, resting their heads on their comfy bed pillows after another hard day's work. Cook still inspired with work, is uh, still cooking away there. Trying to provide at least a buffer zone so that we have enough food to uh, to keep these prisoners alive, which I, again, I know I keep saying it, I'm gonna have to eventually make that choice, whether we just cut some of them off 
and I think releasing them would be a bad idea. But I also know that executing them would make other people unhappy in the group. So, difficult decision there, and not one I'm looking forward to making, but I think it's for another day. Now we have an electrical problem now, which has caused a fire. Something went wrong here, annoyingly. I need to get somebody to put that out straight away before it spreads. Just check that everything has a roof because normally it's only water that makes that happen. Wow, that's not even roofed, the generators. That's ridiculous guys, come on. Pretty obvious where I want the roofs to be. Don't know why that's roofed there either, but it's probably quite nice for them to have a covered walkway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way like that. Now it says I can't do it because there's trees there, but it will force them to cut those trees down. And just to help them along the way a little bit, I will select all those trees to be cut down. Still got a fair amount of wood. Um, but maybe I will now lay some flooring in the production room at least. And this is my, is this like my stone cutters table? Yes, so now I will get some, uh, should we do sandstone? I think we've got a lot of sandstone, let's check. Um, where would sandstone be? Okay, so I think limestone is a good idea, believe it or not. I don't know if limestone paths are any good though. I will just take a quick look. Let's take a look at limestone tile. Mm. Takes a long time to lay, I'm not really interested in that. Limestone. <laughs> okay, so they're not beautiful, but they make good surfaces for roads and outdoor walkways. So I think that's probably the best idea for now. I don't have enough resources right now, but I'm going to lay them down anyway, where I want them to be. And then I'm going to make sure that they're cutting limestone blocks. I'm going to put that forever for now, because I don't think they're going to do it that regularly. Doug, suffering a medical emergency. Malnutrition, for some reason. Boss is sorting that out by giving him a fine meal. I'm going to add a marriage spot, um, which I don't think I've got already. I might possibly have laid one down out of habit and not talked about it, but I don't think I have. And now I'm going to put a caravan spot as well. And I think the party spot is already in here, or well, at least I, I, I thought I did it, but obviously not. So now there's a party spot in the common area there. Although, they did have a party before and they seem to congregate there, so maybe that's just automatic. I don't have enough cloth to build an armchair or a meditation pad. But, I don't have any cotton growing yet. I really need to get more people on growing. So... Is, uh, yeah, I need to get this built as well so I can get Boss helping on the cooking. For now, he's butchering meat, which is great. Fix it and tanker, working on the roofs around here, cutting these trees down. Cook is cooking fine meals still, which is probably not going as fast as I was hoping, but can't ask for much more until this other stove is built here. I might just take fix it off and prioritize this electric stove. As soon as I get that built then I can have two people cooking and I really want to get this number to above 100 at all times. Meals. Especially with all these extra weights here to look after. I think it's time for me to make a decision about this. I'm going to check all their bios again and make sure I'm getting rid of the right people. I want Kiko because of the medical skill. I'd quite like Lepe because of the 
the fighting and the construction. Ape, I'm not bothered by. So Ape is going to be the first one I'm going to release. Purely to save myself food and medical supplies. Shoe, I would quite like for mining if possible. Java, I'm not really bothered either. Doug, I'd like to keep. And Olaf, I can definitely get rid of. Although he's a good cook. It might be good to get Olaf as well. And I think I will release Java as well. Even after releasing these two, I'm still going to have five prisoners. None of which have been convinced to be recruited so far. So, I think this is the best decision to make right now. Lepe's resistance remaining is very low. Kiko's is still very high. Olaf's is low as well. Which would be good actually. I could really use another chef uh, to free boss up from doing it. And the resistance is pretty high on Doug too. I hope I'm making the right choice here. I really think it's better that we save our food and medicine um, and not waste them on prisoners that we know we don't really want anyway. So that's it, decision made. For now at least, I'm gonna release those two. Hopefully they'll go back to their colonies and tell tales of kindness and respect. And maybe it will go some way to improving relations between the different factions in the future. I won't hold my breath. Um, Java was difficult in the beginning. An ape has already tried to escape once and he's one of the newer prisoners, so... Who knows? We'll have to see what happens. The electric stove is built now. And I'm just going to force fix it to continue working on the power conduit. Because I need to get it connected up before I can do anything with it. Reluctantly, fix it, come on, that's your job. Um, I'm going to put some simple, actually I'm going to swap this around. So I'm going to put fine meals here and I'm going to set it to forever. And then on this one I'm going to add simple meals and also put it to forever and get rid of the fine meals. So now the chefs have two options, either to cook simple meals fast or fine meals a bit slower. I'm not sure if a chair helps with the uh, the stove, but I'm going to put one there anyway, just in case. Fix it, please do as you are told. Carry on building this. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start cooking more. Okay. Still reluctant to do it. I don't know what they. He wants to. She wants to go and build that roof desperately, but for now, please. more important. So that stove should be connected now, if I'm not mistaken. Just needed two more to complete the circuit there. And for some reason still not getting any power. Not sure why. Anyway, fix it. Sorry, not done yet, mate. These guys are hanging around for a long time. Makes me nervous. They're all well armed and heavily armoured. Heavy blaster rifle. Hmm. I could do with one of those myself. I honestly don't think we could take them. I know there's not many of them compared to what we've defeated in the past, but they're way more armoured and I think we're outgunned in this in this time in particular. Kind of working fix it to the bone here. I haven't let her rest and do what she chooses to do for a while, but. This kind of micromanagement is essential sometimes in this game. Doc still working away on the research, although it's taking forever. I really need these power conduits to be built to complete this electric circuit. I'm not really happy about my silver just lying around here in my storeroom. I will like to build at some point some kind of safe room built out of metal or stone walls with a, a metal door to protect it. 
It's so normally when you get raided, if you get, if you're all your team get knocked out or unconscious, then the first thing they're going to go for is the money. And if they can't find it, then they might be tempted to go for the food or something else instead. Which would be equally as disastrous right now, but, you know, we have to think about what's more important in the long run. And I think having a good supply of silver is always good for bargaining and trading. You never know who's going to come knocking on your door next in RimWorld. I can't remember the last time we paid any tax, though. I think we've paid twice, maybe, overall. Which, considering we've been playing a while, is quite good. Okay. So, because Ape exited the map healthy, our relations have gone from minus 20 to minus 8 with that faction. So, it was a good decision, I think, to let them go. And I look forward to seeing what the other prisoner can do in terms of relationships with his tribe. Also makes me think that maybe I should let go of one more of them. Um, but maybe not right this second. Just check them again. Yeah, I could let go of Olaf, but I really want him to be an extra cook. Fix it. What are you doing? This is still not connected, and I don't know why. It's really annoying me. Why wouldn't it be connected? There's power going all the way through, right to there. What's going on? I do not understand that at all. Maybe it's just not enough power. Maybe it has to go directly to, I don't know. I really don't know, it's bizarre. This should be on now. So fix it. As I said, I've been pushing her quite hard today. Just finishing off all the little tasks that never seem to get done. Now she is refusing to do anything I ask, which is fair enough, I guess. Caravan from the Galactic Empire is finally leaving. Maybe I can get Tank to finish off. No, I don't know why, for some reason. Can't get him to build that. Bizarre. Okay, well, let's get a job for another day. As long as we've got cool air going in here, but it's not cool enough. Damn it. I need more power, basically. I don't know why that's so low. Sorry, guys. I'm really not paying attention to some things that I should be. Why is that above? It's ridiculous. They should all be minus. Minus 8. Minus 8. Minus 8. Minus 10. Fine. They should never be above freezing. Why is it still not going down? Maybe I need another one. It is a big room. Fair enough. So, I'll build one more. Hopefully that will help. But I definitely think until this power conduit gets finished here, I definitely need another generator. And if fix it wouldn't mind, I'm going to ask you to get on with that while the others sleep. Now, you can sleep in in the morning, that's fine. Yeah, I know, I need batteries, but for me right now, the most important research I can do is to get these gun turrets, which will give me a chance as the raids start to get more difficult. It's a mystery to me why this uh, powered uh, electric stove here is not connected. There's power conduit going all the way up to the generator, or at least it was until I put that there. Um, so maybe it's just not getting enough power. And hopefully building another generator here will fix that problem. They take 40 components to build. Oh no, two components to build. Why does it say hauling... No, hauling components. Okay, I'm sure it said hauling 40. Maybe I'm mistaken. So while everybody sleeps, I'm forcing Fix-It to get this other generator working. 
just to see if it will solve the mystery of the electric stove not functioning properly. There's a good chance I'm missing something very basic, and I apologise if that is true. You can all laugh at me. Um, I'm going to ask her to refuel that as well, if at all possible. Okay, has that fixed the problem? Yes! Okay, great. So that's now powered. We've got fine meals cooking on that, which is a better quality stove. And simple meals cooking on that, which is faster, hopefully. And we've got 61 meals, so we are on the verge of running out of food. Doesn't say it here yet, but we definitely need to start producing more, more and more quickly. I've assigned boss to cook. He should be doing that with chef before any other priorities except to recruit people and to heal people. I'm going to take fingers off as a doctor for now. I'm also going to take boss off as a doctor because I think Doc is doing a pretty good job by herself. And as everybody sleeps, another day, another dollar, as they say. And we made progress. We've got more power coming in. Uh, we released two prisoners to try and ease the load from uh, consuming all of our food and medical supplies. And in the process, we improved some relationships with other factions, which I was not expecting. Good old ape went back there, nicely healed and full of food, and told his people of how well he'd been treated. And that's going to go a long way, I think, to helping us, maybe with future trade, or maybe even it will help if we decide to eventually attack some of these other factions. Um, if we get desperate, we might have to. If, something ha if somebody has some something we need, then... We are prepared to go and take it with minimal loss of life. We're not savages. We're not barbarians. We don't want to kill people unless we absolutely have to. Um, Lepe is now fully healed. Ate a fine meal, which I don't really want our prisoners doing. So how can I reduce their... How can I reduce their medicine supplies? Food restriction fine. I think they're fine with simple meals. And we can leave the fine meals for our colonists. Does that mean they can only eat fine or not eat fine? Or not eat above fine? Who knows? We will see at some point, I'm sure. And as everybody rests, a new day is dawning. 5am, the sun starts to rise in this region of the rim world. There's a warm glow coming from the log fire generators that we've got going, which is a good sign for our colonists. It means we've got power. We've got a giant freezer where we can start to stockpile food. Everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's healthy. Things are going pretty well for our gang. And boss is proud of every single one of them for pulling their weight and Staying optimistic in some challenging times that they've had already. Cooks up first, harvesting, them, harvesting some strawberries, which is great because I think they're going to start to rot soon. Although, maybe if they're not harvested, they don't rot, which is interesting. But it's great that Cook's doing that because I want to get some more food saved up here. Okay, so. Although Ape went back and said good things about us, it appears that the matter of the Priory have a natural tendency to become hostile towards us, whatever we do. So, I'm starting to regret that decision slightly, but I still think it's going to free us up in terms of food consumption and medical supplies at this stage. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. There was another message there as well that I missed. Oh, why doesn't it tell me there? How annoying. Okay. Maybe it'll say in factions. Ah, it was this one. I remember seeing this word at least, which I can't pronounce. 
Ithroron. Not sure who went back there, but we're still hostile, minus 30 with them, so whatever they said didn't do much good for us. I guess it was the other prisoner whose name I cannot remember anymore. Let's see what boss is up to. Feeding shoe, you see? It's the big problem with these prisoners is they take a lot of our food. I'm gonna force boss to start cooking simple meals while chef beside him cooks the fine meals. And as the morning draws in, the characters start to get up, start to get on with their daily duties. Boss and Cook are working hard on the stoves, trying to bump up this. I want it to at least 100. That's a comfortable number for me. 100 preserved meals means, you know, a good, you know, it gives us a good 15 to 20 days of safety. But I really, really need to start cooking and getting these two seriously cooking all the time now. I need another chef. I'm really hoping I can recruit Olaf here, whose resistance is very low now. As soon as I've got him, I'll be able to replace Boss, because Boss is better at other stuff than cooking. I really want Boss to be on research. Um, so I am considering pulling, for example, I could put cook, I could put, sorry, tank on cooking and pull boss off. So boss would then go back to his research and tank would prioritize cooking the simple meals, which I think is a better plan overall. Still haven't got this conduit built here. Got plenty of steel. Fix it keeps getting distracted with other things. I have to keep reminding her to, you know, we need this extra power coming in from this generator here. This wind turbine, sorry. And the one I'm really looking at now is Olaf. The only thing he's really good at is cooking. He's alright at art as well, which could be useful later on. And he's not bad at construction. Um, he has absolutely no social skills, but that's fine, because he is going to be... A cook and nothing more for now. So I can take Tank off cooking. Because Tank I think is better suited for other things. Such as mining and construction. Fingers is still working hard in the fields. Basically alone he's trying to get through the harvests. Corn is nearly ready which is worrying. Because all of these strawberries are ready to harvest as well. Which I think is more important than the heel root actually. Um, and there's been no time to plant again smoke leaf or rice because it's too busy harvesting the others. So I really need some more people. And as lunchtime draws around, I think that's time to call an end to this episode. It feels like a good natural time to finish. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please leave a like and subscribe. This is a brand new channel. Uh, it's my first Let's Play series, so I really need all the help I can get. And I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.